What does Nikon DSLR has to offer me? What is guide mode? What are the advantages of having active delighting, HDR and inbuilt time lapse option in Nikon DSLRs? If you have all these queries and questions, this session will answer all of them. Welcome everyone to another session of Nikon DSLR tutorials. Today, I am going to share some information about advantages of having a Nikon DSLR camera. Now, Nikon DSLR camera come equipped with lot of photography features that can enhance your photography skills. So, let us see these features one by one. One of the most important feature of Nikon DSLR is the F mount. Now, when we talk about F mount, I will just show you how F mount looks like. Now, here you can see this ring, this ring is known as F mount. Now, this ring gives you the consistency to mount any lens onto this camera. So, if you have a very old Nikkor lens, you can mount that lens on this camera. You can even mount all kind of new Nikkor lenses on this camera. This F mount is the very reason why Nikon have such a huge loyal customer base because of the consistency we provide in our products. Now, one of the most unique feature of Nikon DSLR is the guide mode. Now, this guide mode is a feature incorporated in Nikon DSLR like Nikon D3200 and Nikon D3100. With the help of this mode, you just have to rotate the dial to the guide mode on the camera and once you do that, you will see a tutorial onto your screen. Now, this tutorial helps all those photographers who are first time DSLR owners and want to learn photography. This mode helps you to learn the kind of settings required in respective lighting situations. Now, to understand better, let us see an example of a guide mode. Now, as you can see, most of the people who buy DSLR are tempted to get those portrait shot with a shallow depth of field and why? Because it gives a very cinematic view to your image. Now, in order to do that, you have to play around with the aperture. That means, your f number should be lower, close to f4 or f3.5. As clearly mentioned with the help of this guide mode, it is stating that choose lower f numbers to blur the background. This means, it is telling you to drop your f number in order to get the blur background. As you do that, you will see the background is changing and it is giving you more defocused background. This is how guide mode helps you in one particular situation. Now, these kind of features and these kind of instructions can be used from the guide mode to learn other aspects of photography. Another unique advantage of Nikon DSLR is active delighting feature. Now, this feature is there in all Nikon DSLR cameras. Now, in order to access this feature, you just first need to go to menu options and in menu options go to shooting menu. In shooting menu, you will find this feature called active delighting. In some cameras, you will just see active delighting off and on. In some cameras, you will find various levels of active delighting that is normal, high and extra high. Depending on the lighting situation, you choose the active delighting and grab an image. Now, let us see with the help of the example how active delighting works. Now, here is an image that has been shot without using active delighting. Now, you can see in the shadow areas, there are no details. Even in the clouds, you will not find any kind of detail. The image also does not look very colorful because the saturation is very low. Now, in this kind of situation, you just need to switch on your active delighting and click an image. Once you do that, you will see a drastic change in your image. There are lot of details in the sky, even the details in the shadow areas have just popped up. Now, this is a very good feature that can be utilized in various kind of scenarios like for this landscape shot. Now, the utility of active delighting is just not confined to these kind of images. You can use active delighting in various kind of scenarios like for example, while grabbing an image in wildlife situation. Now, in most of the wildlife situation, you will find animals or birds under the influence of shade. 
you just have to switch on active delighting to get proper exposure of that particular subject. Similarly, if you are shooting a backlit portrait wherein the sunlight or the light is coming from the back side of the subject, normally you get an underexposed shot. Now, in order to get a properly exposed image, you just need to switch on active delighting. This is a very good feature and it is there in all our Nikon DSLR cameras. Another unique feature that I personally like in Nikon DSLR is the HDR feature. This feature is very unique. You just need to access the shooting menu, you will find this feature called HDR. Now, what is the meaning of HDR? HDR simply means high dynamic range. To explain you much more in detail, let us talk about what is high dynamic range. Normal human eye dynamic range is very good because you can see details in the shadow areas as well as in the brighter areas. Similarly, to achieve same kind of output from your camera, you just need to switch on the HDR feature of your camera. Let us understand with the help of this image how HDR feature functions. Now, you can see this image which has been which is a landscape shot and which has been shot without HDR feature switched on. Here you cannot see any kind of details in the clouds as well as the landscape. The exposure is also not very good. Now, if you just switch on the HDR feature of your camera and click an image, you will see all the details in the clouds as well as in the landscape have just popped up. Even the exposure is evenly sp spread all across the frame. This is a very unique feature and this will give you a very close perspective of the reality. This is how you see things in real if you actually present in the scene. Now, why I like this HDR feature? The reason I like this feature is because when I used to shoot HDR images earlier, I used to shoot at various different exposures and then used to combine all those images together in a post processing software, which is in turn a very time consuming process. Now, with the help of HDR feature, you just need to go to shooting menu, just switch on this feature and grab an image. Camera will take two different exposure and combine both these images together and give you an HDR output. How unique is that? Now, you must have seen those high quality time lapse footages of clouds moving very fast or traffic moving very fast on various documentary channels. Now, in order to grab those kind of videos, earlier you need to mount a camera, then you have to roll a camera for a very long duration and then take that footage on a video editing software and start post processing. This is a very time consuming and tedious process. With Nikon camera, you just have to go to shooting menu, there is an option called inbuilt time lapse photography. You just have to put in the right settings as per the lighting situation and as per the subject you are shooting and just press OK. Camera will start shooting images at regular interval and by the end of the time, it will compile a high quality full HD time lapse footage for you. How unique is that? Now, this is the kind of camera that you would love to carry both for stills as well as for recording time lapse footages. Here is an example of high quality time lapse footage taken from various Nikon DSLR cameras. What if you want to record a video along with stills? Now, in order to do that, earlier you need to carry two different cameras. One, a video camera for video recording and for still photography, a DSLR. Now, today Nikon DSLRs have offered you full HD video capability inside the camera. In order to do that, you just need to go to shooting menu and choose the movie settings you want to shoot in. Like for example, Nikon offers various kind of settings for full HD video like 1080p at 60 fps, 1080p at 30 fps, 24 fps and 25 fps. The quality of full HD movie recorded on a DSLR is so good that even today most of the production houses and filmmakers are using DSLR for making films and documentaries. So, a full HD capability in your DSLR offers you a very good quality. To see that what kind of quality a DSLR has to offer, let us see our video footage that has been shot using Nikon DSLRs.
as you have seen this high quality footage recorded by Nikon DSLR, you must be wondering even my smart device offer full HD video capability at 1080p. Now remember DSLR is a very unique machine. It has a very big sensor as compared to your smart device. That means full HD movie recorded on a DSLR will give you more details and more data in terms of video quality. So, DSLR Full HD movie cannot be compared with the movie recorded by any other smart devices. The movie recorded by a DSLR is of very high quality. Even the video that you are watching right now has been shot using Nikon DSLRs. Inbuilt HDR, inbuilt time lapse, Full HD movie capability, these are just few of the features that Nikon DSLR offers. We have lot more advantages to offer in Nikon DSLRs. But for the time being, if you practice these key features, that will definitely enhance your creativity and photography skills. Until next time, this is your Nikon buddy Abhishek Singh signing off.